Coastal Carolina football. They have only been on the FBS Division I level since 2017 when they joined the Sun Belt Conference. And they've only experienced very minimal success with their best season only being 5-7. and seven. But now, in the weirdest college football season, I would say in a long time, the 2020 college football season, they are the most shocking team to come out of it. Right now, Coastal Carolina is 7-0, and oh, undefeated. Not only that, Coastal Carolina is the number 15 team in the nation. But how did they get from just joining the FBS Division I level in 2017 to being an undefeated team right now? To start it off, we have to take it all the way back to the beginning in their first season at the FBS Division I level in the Sun Belt Conference. In the 2017 season, Coastal Carolina was not very good at all. They had a 3-9 record, were 10th place in the Sun Belt, and were one of the worst teams in all of college football. They were ranked as the 110th best team in college football. Their offense and defense were atrocious. They were the 102nd best offense in college football and the 108th best defense in college football. In the 2018 college football season, Coastal Carolina would improve. They improved from 3-9 and nine to 5-7, and seven, but they were fourth place in the East Division of the Sun Belt Conference. The offense did get better and the defense kind of improved, but it really wasn't that much of an improvement. On offense, they ranked as the 84th best offense in the nation, and on defense, they ranked as the 100th best defense in the nation. In the 2019 college football season, Coastal Carolina would boast the same record as in the 2018 college football season, with a record of 5-7, and seven, but the team seemed like they were a better team. On offense, they ranked as the 55th best offense in the nation, and on defense, they ranked as the 85th best defense in the nation, both improvements from the season prior. The only thing that didn't improve was in this season, their last place in the East Division of the Sun Belt Conference. Going into the 2020 college football season, there was zero hype surrounding Coastal Carolina. A lot of people thought they were going to perform around the same as they have these past few seasons, or maybe even worse. I was one of those people, I was sleeping on the Chandeliers. If you go back to my Sun Belt prediction video, I thought they would play very bad and I was wrong. Coastal Carolina so far in the 2020 college football season has shocked everyone. No one thought they could do this. They are 7-0 and the 15th best team in the nation as a team coming out of the Sun Belt Conference. As of the recording of this video, the offense for Coastal Carolina ranks as the 22nd best offense in the nation and the defense is only better. They are ranked as the 14th best defense in the nation. And I know there's people out there that want to discredit Coastal Carolina for being the 15th best team in the nation right now according to the AP Top 25 poll because of the competition they play, but they're playing every game with a chip on their shoulder. In the first game of the 2020 college football season, Coastal Carolina would travel to Lawrence, Kansas to take on the Kansas Jayhawks from the Big 12 Conference. Although it is Kansas, and Kansas is one of the worst Power 5 teams in all of college football, and maybe even one of the worst teams in all of college football, this is still a Power 5 opponent in the first game of the season, and they're away. Despite Coastal Carolina playing better football all round than Kansas these past few seasons, they were an underdog going into this game. But they showed pure domination over the Kansas Jayhawks as they won 38-23 on their home turf. In the next week, Coastal Carolina would have their first home game of the season against Campbell. They would use the momentum from Kansas and beat them 43-21. A few weeks later, they would have yet another home game against Arkansas State. The same Arkansas State team that competed with Memphis for the most part and beat Kansas State. Versus Arkansas State, they would absolutely destroy them. They beat Arkansas State 52-23. to In their next game, they would travel to Louisiana and take on the ranked Louisiana Raysian Cajuns. They were ranked as the 21st best team in the nation at that time. This is the same Louisiana team that upset a ranked Iowa State Cyclones team in Ames, Iowa. The game was neck and neck the entire time. But Coastal Carolina would edge out Louisiana and win 30 to 27. After this victory, Coastal Carolina was now 4-0 on the season 
and would make their first ever appearance in the AP Top 25 poll. They would be the 25th best team in the nation. Coastal Carolina would take on Georgia Southern in their next game, their first game as a ranked team ever at the FBS Division I level. And Georgia Southern is no slouch. This is the same Georgia Southern team that has been making bowl games these past few seasons and have been playing some very good football. But that did not matter to Coastal Carolina as they would win this game 28-14. In their next game, they would be traveling to Georgia State to play in Atlanta. Coastal Carolina would move up 5 in the AP poll and be 20th going into this game. And they did not disappoint at all. They would shut Georgia State out in a 51-0 victory and improve to 6-0. After showing complete dominance over Georgia State in a 51-0 victory, Coastal Carolina would move up 5 spots again in the AP poll and be ranked as the 15th best team in the nation. Going into their next game, they would play South Alabama and they would win 23-6. Coastal Carolina has 4 games left in the 2020 college football season. If they win out, they go undefeated. If they win the rest of the Sun Belt teams, they go to the Sun Belt Conference Championship. But the four opponents they have to face are definitely not slouches for the most part. Troy is currently 4-3 and three, and they've been a pretty good football program these past few years. Appalachian State, currently 5-1, and one, and Appalachian State has been running the Sun Belt table these past few seasons. And Texas State, yeah, Texas State is not very good. Texas State is currently 1-8. But then, their final game of the season, they take on Liberty at home, who are currently both undefeated and both top 25 teams. I do not know if Coastal Carolina will win out for the rest of their schedule in the 2020 college football season. It will definitely be very tough, but they keep playing the way they've been playing this whole season. They can definitely do it without a doubt. Do you guys think that Coastal Carolina is going to win out? Do you think they're going to stay undefeated for the 2020 college football season? Or do you think their luck is going to run out? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Only time will tell if Coastal Carolina can keep the momentum up and finish undefeated. It is all up in the air right now. It's not easy to finish undefeated. But this is already a historic season for them already, and they've already shocked the whole college football world with what they're doing right now. This season, if you, even if they lose out, has already been extremely impressive from the Coastal Carolina football program. Well guys, if you guys liked the video, remember to smash that like button, turn on them post notifications, and subscribe for more videos. Be Kelly, out!